Okay, I had to sit and figure this out. Um, I got the neutral safety switch uh, pigtail, so uh, I wanted to make sure that I was the wiring with the harness was going to work. Um, so what we got over there is uh, 919. I said goes to the fuse box. I think that actually goes to the um, to something else. I'm not sure on that one, uh, but uh, it goes to ignition right here. So um, and then 9. 19 red blue I don't know if they're both 919 but at any rate um, we have two cables that come into the neutral safety switch um, and and then we'll have one that goes out to the um, uh, to the relay and I'll show you that here um, so this is how it, it looks like it's going to be so you have the battery obviously the negative and then you have the positive goes to the, the positive this goes, has a negative as well um, the ignition will hit the neutral safety switch first. That'll go out to the relay. The relay will then go out to the um, starter uh, solenoid. So that should work because um, this is all in line. So if the neutral safety switch isn't um, set up, then uh, then we won't be able to start. We have one cable, so I'll show you where all those are. Either. <laughs> it's a little confusing to me, but um, so these go down. Uh, below there so it'll drop down with the backup uh, light which I've already got wired I had a video on that already uh, one of these is labeled starter solenoid that's the one that's going to go over to the um, relay and then the other one's labeled ignition and that's the one that goes back into the ignition and then if you look on this side this one is labeled um, starter solenoid as well and so Basically, the one that came from over there ends up over here. I'm going to hook that to a relay, which I have on order. It's coming uh, hopefully soon. Um, and then I'll run a little more cable from the relay down to the starter. And here's that uh, pigtail I was talking about. It's just a T5 uh, pigtail that I ordered, Ron Morris uh, from Summit. Um, so I'm just going to wire that in. I'm guessing it's not... Uh, polar specific pull uh, so because these wires don't match up as far as colors or anything so I'm just gonna wire it in as a uh, just a straight switch and uh, hope that it works I don't want to forget my heat shrink as I put this on. Cut a little of that off. I'll make sure it's big enough for one of these. So, kind of measure that like so. Measure off the same one. Not to order more of this heat shrink. Okay, I'm going to slide that onto these longer cables. connector
and luckily the wife hasn't been missing the hairdryer. All right, and this is what it looks like under the car. So I have the, this original pigtail right here was already on the transmission. This is the pigtail I just bought. And I ran it up and over this uh, cross member. I'll be looming all these cables together, but um, for right now they're just loosely down here. Uh, make sure everything works before I loom them. There's the backup light switch. And then it goes up there, um, coming out the firewall up there. Okay, the pink and black wire. This is the um, switched power for the um, ECU um, and ProFlow. Um, so there's the ECU, here's the harness, and you can see it splits off right here. Um, so you need clean um, power and you need power when the um, key is not only on, but also when you're turning it uh, to start the car. So, um, to get good clean power, I'm gonna utilize this accessory relay right here. Um, pretty simple for the painless harness. Um, this is orange wire right here, already has a uh, butt end on it. Uh, you can see this black wire is bundled with it. Now, what they recommend is that you take um, this uh, black cable and hook it to a ground switch so essentially you hook this to the ground switch the ground switch goes to ground and you can turn that accessory on and off manually <clears throat> it's kind of in this case um, you could use it as like a kill switch so um, you plug it in um, to there and then you could actually use it as a kill switch I'm gonna just um, run this to ground so I'll probably take this end off uh, put a, um, <clears throat> a little eye on there and then uh, run it to ground somewhere. Um, and then that uh, pink and uh, black wire is going to go right to this orange one. Um, and uh, then we should have uh, power, switched power for the ECU. The power itself comes from the battery and those are uh, running up there. Okay, so I ran the accessory ground over here. Um, to the same place that I'm running the um, instrument ground. So hopefully that's gonna give me a good ground for that accessory relay. And let me find the, my pink and black wire right here. You can see it's coming off of uh, my harness there. It comes over here and then I'm hooking into that orange accessory power out. So we should be good on our ProFlow connections. I know it's ugly right now, so I gotta tuck everything up into the dash and make it look nice uh, before I start putting the dash together, but um, I wanna see if everything works first before I make it look pretty. Okay, I got another uh, painless wiring accessory. Uh, this is a three pack relay bank. Um, so you got the three relays. Um, and essentially what I'm going to use this for is um, the wiring for the starter and then the um, two fans that I'm planning on putting in um, uh, for the cooling. So um, sometimes the hardest part is kind of deciding where to put things. Uh, this up. Already kind of ripped it open. Here. Um, so you can see it comes with the relays, um, a circuit breaker. 
um, which I already have from the fuel pump relay, so I may just tap into that same uh, circuit breaker um, and have one wire going to the battery, uh, and then get some, you know, ends and things, uh, and then that's the end there, and that's the part we're going to be mounting. So it comes with two two screws to mount this, um, plus two screws to mount the. Um, circuit breaker so I could essentially put three screws into those because I already have the circuit breaker and won't be using those. I was looking at where I'm going to put this thing. Um, don't think I'm going to put it under the hood. It is weather resistant um, but I'm looking at things and I'm like man I just don't want more stuff under here if I can help it. Uh, the issue is I need to get to this wire here which I can't really reach to go back into the cabin that way, but um, I can pull it out of the harness um, and pull it back into the cabin right there. And then um, what I'm thinking is that I'll mount this underneath the dash, uh, maybe over on that side near that circuit breaker um, that I already have in there. and. Uh, lost a wire to that circuit breaker. I need to fix that or I'll mount it uh, towards the center. Um, so I haven't decided yet. I'm going to kind of see how the wires uh, lay out here and then go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this cable back um, into the cabin because I'm going to put those um, relays into the cabin. Um, so I'm just taking a little section at a time and finding the next section as it gets past the uh, zip tie on the harness and then I just pull it and just want to be kind of gentle oops as I wobble the camera around so you just want to be kind of gentle and make sure it's going to pull easily without uh, snagging or anything and see I'm getting stuck over there and so I'm just going to go through each section of the harness all the way back and I'm going to push it into the cabin and then um, I'll probably end up cutting it um, just because of how long it is. Um, and then I'm going to put those uh, relays in there. Okay, so I ended up uh, just mounting that thing right there. There's a, let me see if I can point here. <laughs> There's a bit of a curve in the firewall right here. So I didn't put a screw in on this one. I put it on these two. Um, and that seemed to work out. Um, looks fairly level and it's uh, up here by the fuse box which looks nice also uh, hanging it um, down like that will make it pretty easy to access those relays if I ever have to swap them out um, not that you ever seem to I mean I think I've only replaced one relay ever and uh, um, usually they don't go bad so but it makes it a little easier if I have to all right now I get to deal with all of this wire um, so this guy over here is a single wire that's going to go to the battery eventually. So um, what I ended up doing is um, I was going to share that one uh, circuit breaker up there, but it's a 30 amp and this bottom was a 50 amp. So I figured I'm putting three relays on there. I'll go with the 50 amp for the three relays, keep that one for the fuel pump so that I don't have any issues. Um, so I went ahead and mounted that one below it. Um, so I'm gonna run this red cable over to that and then out to the uh, battery from there. Okay, so I cut that uh, wire to a length where I could run it along the back here and along and curve and stay on the side there. And, oh, <laughs> I can get to it. See if I can find it. And there you go on the top there. The top of the bottom one, I guess I should say. Um, and then what you do, whew, getting out of these are always fun, um, is uh, get these, um, the rest of this cable, and I'm going to take and put an end on this. And I'm going to run it out the firewall to, towards the battery. Okay, so this is that um, solenoid, uh, ignition solenoid wire that 
<clears throat> was up in the front that I pulled back into the cabin. Um, I tied that into the relay number one, which is this red and uh, it looks like brown, but I think it's supposed to be green. And I'll tell you why in a second. Um, but it's also labeled each, um, I don't know if you can see that real well, but it is labeled relay one. Um, and then I put the ground right there and you can see that one's green. And that's the thing that makes me think that's supposed to be green because um, they're all the same. And that includes this green, which goes out to the um, device you're trying to power. In this case, it's the starter. So um, that's gonna go out to the starter solenoid. Um, and I have that just curled up. Oh. Yeah, getting under the dash has done wonders for my back. Whew. So I'm gonna come over here. And then I just coiled it up right there. I don't know how long I needed it or anything. It's gonna go down there, obviously. And so um, as soon as I get a starter, I'll hook that up and then uh, tie some of these things up to the battery once I get a battery and we'll be in good shape.